Section 2. Love Exists All of us have had many opportunities to contemplate love, yet none of us has ever seen it. We cannot hold love in our hands or take it out and show it to people. However, no one has ever doubted that love exists. We all believe that it does and we seek more of it. We all set out on the eternal journey through life with this aspiration for a love that we can be sure of. If no one has ever seen or touched love, could it be just a fantasy? When we consider this, we find that love is not the only invisible thing that people believe in. For instance, you cannot see the wind with your eyes. But when you see autumn leaves being swept through the air and hear the rustling of a summer's breeze as it passes through the trees, you know that it is the wind at work. The wind is invisible, but you have felt its gentle touch on your skin, its fury in the storm, and its cold fingers in an icy gust of wind. We all agree that this is what we call the wind, but we cannot capture it, put it in a box, and take it out later to show to someone. Love is like the wind. No one doubts its existence, and we feel it and sense it all around us. But we cannot hold it as we do physical objects. You will never be able to offer tangible proof of love's existence, but everyone can feel its effects. Although we cannot grab hold of love, point to it and say, this is love, everyone can feel love when it is present. How similar love is to God. Countless people throughout the ages have believed in God and spoken or written about him, but no one has ever been able to demonstrate proof of God's presence. Throughout history, many sages in many realms of knowledge, people of religion, philosophers, poets, and writers have grappled with the question of God's existence, but even the greatest among them couldn't produce a shred of tangible evidence to support his existence. Even Jesus Christ could not do so. Even he could not point to God, his heavenly Father, sitting in heaven, and say to his followers, Look there, that is God. Jesus frequently told his followers, Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. John chapter 14 verses 9 through 11 Jesus told people to find God in his words and actions, and they did. Jesus attracted such a large following because people saw God in his powerful sermons and his dignified presence. This is the way it has been throughout history. The most important things are always the hardest to prove. God, love, courage, wisdom, goodness, kindness, beauty, harmony, progress mercy, compassion, truth, sincerity, selflessness. All these exist in abundance in the universe and are known by all beings inhabiting the heavenly worlds. But here in the third dimension, not a single person can conclusively prove their existence. Why? Because they spring from a source that lies outside this material world, in the fourth dimension and beyond. They cannot be proven with the materials of the third dimension. The great being whom I call the primordial Buddha, or the primordial God, inhabits an extremely high dimension that lies beyond the twentieth. Therefore, it is entirely impossible to prove his existence using instruments and concepts of the three-dimensional world. This is exactly why faith exists. To have faith in something means to believe and to revere or to worship. When we believe in something intangible, we sense its existence and accept it wholeheartedly. When we worship something, we feel humbled by an existence far beyond our own and pay homage to it. Jesus Christ said that God is love. Love is undoubtedly a divine quality of God, but Jesus meant something more. Two millennia ago, Jesus spoke the following words in the land of Nazareth. God's existence is not meant to be proven. However, if you insist that I describe God to you, I will tell you that God is like love. Love has never proved its existence to anyone, yet everyone knows how wonderful love is and everyone seeks to attain it. All people stand witness to its splendor and its power. It is the same with faith. Those who believe in the existence of love shall believe in the existence of God. Those who believe in the power of love shall believe in the power of God because God is love. 
Behold the works of love that I, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, enact. It is not I performing these deeds, but my Father in heaven, my Lord God, who performs these deeds through me. If you seek to witness love, then behold the deeds I perform. There you will find love, and there you will find God. I know these words because it was I who guided Jesus from heaven as he spoke them.